Okay, uh, lapel grab, go with this side so it can be, so it can be seen. From here, the lapel grab, we can come up on the inside and we can break this direction. Now, it's not going to necessarily break the grip because to break a grip is going to be very, very difficult. Just going to start with any kind of bunkai where someone's grabbing your lapels, there's probably going to be something beforehand. You know, it could be this, we'll soften the blow by kicking. So it could be in, he's going to not think about this, he's going to think about what I've just done to his groin and that's where that break can, that's where that, um, that break can be broken. That break can be broken. But from this position, if we don't put a pre-strike in, what's what I would call a pre-strike, which I can go into in a little bit of detail later on, from here we can just lift up and then from here we can strike. Or we can come up on the outside, protect, and then we can pull down and strike in this direction. And then from here, we can use another hijiate to strike up. So all we're doing with this is we're bringing the, we're bringing the, uh, the hijiate down just as it does for Kion, so we're bringing the hijiate down and then striking upwards and then we're bringing the other one across the body and striking upwards in a straight line. So this side for the, for the audience, from here, we're going to come up on the inside, this direction, and then we can strike or strike or even strike here. If it was on the, uh, the outside, we'd start here, so we can start in a protective state, we come down, from here we strike into the chest and then we can come around and strike upwards. So when I say protective state, it would be just a lapel grab from this position. It would be here. So we're protecting. As he's punching, for example, we can we protect this direction. One, two. So again, we're actually using, to break this, we're actually using the retraction. So we're actually using the, uh, the hiccata. So he comes in one, two, three, four. And that puts us in a prime position to go for the uppercut as well. So nice and slow, no punch. Just from there, we break the grip and then we can punch upwards. It's just helping us on our way. One, grab again. One pulls him down, two pushes him away. So it's kind of this action. Just that he's just too idiotic with the same amount. One's the retraction to pull in, the second one's the uppercut. One more time. Put the punch in if you want. One. Drop the hand for me. Two, three. Okay, which you might see in things like uh, um, Kurumpha, for example. Um, the Kurumpha version would be punch, one, two, three, or into the chest area. Do it this side so they can see. One, two, into the chest this way. It can work on the opposite side as well. So I'm going to use the same hijiate, which is my, uh, uh, which I just used from this position. Punch one, two, and then from this position, up and strike. I'll say I use the same one. One, two here, kick, and then up and strike. So depending on how you're defending the attack, depending on what the attack is, will depend on where you go. If I'm moving to the inside of the punch, my hijiate goes to the chest and also acts as protection here. If I'm moving to the outside of the punch, so I'll go this side, move to the outside of the punch, my hegiate will go towards the towards the elbow um, and uses a kind of a kind of an arm break if you like. Um, so you can pause that.